on your vehicle, you're going to have to sand, obviously, because that's critical to having a great paint job. If you don't sand properly, you don't prepare the body, I mean, that's most of the paint job when you really get down to it. This uh, huge tray of uh, equipment here is what Mark uses on a regular basis. He paints a lot of cars, but he has equipment that you should have as well if you're going to paint even one car. You need to have the right products. Uh, this particular thing, these are uh, sanding blocks sanding for blocks. different, uh, different uh, uh, projects and such. Obviously, the curvature of the vehicle would be appropriate for that. Why don't you take us through a few things that you have here, starting with, I mean, we obviously have blocks. We have blocks. We have the powder cam that you use, the dry coat powder. Okay. So you put that over the primer, and then as you're blocking, it disappears, and then you know if your surface is straight or not. Very handy. Right. So you have it even across uh, the board, obviously, then you know when there are high spots and low spots. In right. The, in Any the area. remaining powdered black areas will be a low spot, so you have to keep blocking or reprime, whichever is necessary. And then you pick your block. There's a whole series of different blocks here. And, you know, short blocks for smaller areas, large blocks for larger areas, flexible blocks for when you're getting into curves and things like that. And the other key is to use different, is to have multiple blocks so you don't have to change your sandpaper. Very good. For the adherence of the sandpaper to the block, there's something called Hook It, which is uh, something that 3M uses, and it sticks to the uh, block very well, and it's easy to put on and take off. Right. And it comes in long strips. There is, uh, you know, sandpaper in a variety of grits. You can have just about any grit you can think <laughs> of. Um, what's interesting is you've also created some of these, uh, you know, individual blocks. You know, obviously this is for small areas. You're using a paint stick and you're adhering the sandpaper. It doesn't matter what the situation is, but you can build blocks to do speci uh, specific projects. Uh, works out great. So it's important to get the right sanding block and equipment for whatever your application is. It's really important to uh, invest in these kinds of tools because it really will affect the final product.